and some meal. Got a bigger head than a female. And a red belly, of course. Water dragons are uh, sexually dimorphic. That means the male and the female look different. There's another male back there. You keep multiple males together, no problem. Sometimes they fight, and then you separate them. I've seen them fight maybe once or twice. So, seldomly. Nice looking male. Notice the taller spines on the head, bigger head again. Red belly, although not visible in this shot. We don't need to see that because we know this is a male. Just by looking at the head. It's, uh, here we have uh, a nice sized male Australian water dragon, Physignatus lazuri. It's shedding at the moment, although mostly done. Okay, the reason I got it is to show you the red belly. Here we see the red belly. Going. And this, of course, is a female, smaller head again, and not so much red on the belly, a bit pink. Female Australian water dragon. Here we have uh, two more male Australian water dragons. Notice the taller spines on the back of the head and the bigger head again. Let's see, here's another Australian water dragon, smaller head, no red belly. It's a female. Another water dragon. This is a male, the bigger head again, darker band behind the eyes, and a bit of the red belly you can see. And here's another water dragon again. It's a male, of course. Bigger head, taller spines. Another water dragon. Notice the smaller head much smaller than the male because this is a female and the male again <laughs> 